Hi, I'm Dave Murray from Sunliner Recreational Vehicles and this is the all new Sunliner Habitat One, part of a series of long range, multi-terrain touring RVs. The Habitat series has been designed specifically for the traveller who wants to go further and stay longer. These are RVs for people who enjoy free camping, want to unplug for extended periods of time, but want to do so with a level of luxury, security and ease of use that a motorhome can provide. The Habitat certainly has great style, but look beneath the surface, you will see how much design has gone into making sure practical considerations have been incorporated into this incredible motorhome. The Habitat One has been designed with a compact layout. It has an electrical drop-down bed over the living space, a kitchen and full ensuite bathroom with a significant rear storage compartment. There is no slide-out walls in this Habitat series because Sunliner anticipates that the vehicle will be used in areas where dust ingress could be a challenge and wanted to keep the layout as simple as possible. Let's take a closer look. This model is the Habitat One and it's built on the award-winning Iveco Daily 70C chassis. This is a serious truck for a serious RV owner. This particular vehicle has the driver-controlled differential lock, which combined with standard Iveco Daily dual wheel and rear wheel drive, will give the owner of this Habitat One the freedom to explore areas and access campsites that are a challenge to a traditional motorhome. With a 170 horsepower engine and direct turbo injection, it has power when you need it. The Habitat One comes standard with a long range 210 litre fuel tank. This means you can get into those special remote camp spots and back again without stopping for fuel. Starting at the front, let's take a look at the bull bar. Not only does it provide great protection for the front, it also provides scaffolding for your light bar and your UHF aerial. Not only that, it looks fantastic. A UHF radio and aerial is a standard feature in the Habitat One, ensuring you can stay informed and connected with other drivers. In remote areas where mobile phone coverage can be problematic, this is an important safety feature. Now we come to the driver's side. The tough steel step is incorporated into the motorhome design. And there's also an entry light, which helps with your footing in and out the cabin. Sunliner has upgraded to these all-terrain light truck tyres, which reinforces the ability of the habitat owners to explore further off the bitumen. Custom mud flaps and wheel arch mouldings have been added to assist in preventing stone damage. Now let's take a look at the exterior design. This checker plate has been added to provide that extra bit of protection that's sometimes required in the harsh Australian conditions. The grey colouring was a deliberate choice so that the road dust would not be as visible as it would be on the traditional white motorhome exterior. Here we have a 2.9 kilowatt petrol generator with an accompanying 20 litre stainless steel tank. A Dometic generator was chosen because it's compatible with the Dometic air conditioning system. They've been designed to operate together when not connected to 240 volt. This generator is extremely quiet so it won't impact the serenity of your free camping. While we're talking power supply, let me show you the battery setup. The Habitat has two 150 amp hour lead crystal batteries combined with a Red Arc battery management system. Red Arc is an Australian company which have designed this system specifically for Australian conditions and our unique RV requirements. It is the gold standard in battery management. How to charge those batteries while free camping? Well, you're going to need a solar power system. And on the roof, you'll find three 150 watt solar panels. That's an incredible 450 watts of solar standard on the Habitat One. Have a look at this external shower setup. Free camping has never looked so good. Along with power, the other critical element of being able to free camp is having enough water on board. The Habitat One has a 400 litre freshwater capacity and a 100 litre grey water. That's right, 400 litres held in four separate 100 litre tanks. That's an astonishing amount of water. Now if you thought the power setup and the water capacity was impressive, take a look at this. This Habitat boot locker has a truly massive 1900 litres of storage capacity, which means you can travel with all the things that are important to you. The locker has a pass through to the other side, and this side has a section that is 2.2 metres high. Perfect for surfboards, fishing rods, bikes, or whatever you want to travel with. 
On the passenger side of the locker, there's a light and a 240 volt power point. Great for charging appliances and tools. And because Sunliner really thought about how this motorhome will be used and where it will go, it has a 12 volt blower device, which when turned on, creates positive air pressure. That assists in keeping dust out of the storage area. In addition to the front bull bar, the Habitat One motorhome has this great looking, sturdy protection bar for the rear. This wheel cover includes this special Habitat tool bag. Great for storing anything dirty or smelly that you want to keep outside of your motorhome and out of sight or away from scavenging critters. Anyone who's had to change a spare wheel on an RV will tell you how heavy and awkward that is. So Sunliner has created this 12 volt electric lifting system to assist in accessing and lifting the spare tyre should it be required. Like all the motorhomes in the Sunliner range, the habitat is constructed using the Sunliner Thermotuff walls and Dura roof, which incorporates strength, durability and weight reducing properties. You will notice that the distance from the rear wheel to the back wall is relatively short. This combined with the shape of the rear wall creates a departure angle with the greatest possible ground clearance, meaning you can access more of those remote free campsites. This is a good time to point out the electric stabilizers operated from switches located inside the motorhome. It's that easy. Moving around to the passenger side of the vehicle. If you like to go off the grid and free camp, then you're probably going to like to spend a lot of time outdoors. The Habitat is packed with features to make outdoor living that little bit more comfortable. Two outdoor speakers connected to the Fusion audio system, a 240 volt power point for any appliances you might have, a gas point for the barbecue, and a fully electric awning. The Habitat uses the Dometic RV two-piece security door. This door can be left open with a security screen in the lock position to allow additional ventilation without compromising your security. Let's talk about security for a moment. For a lot of people, the decision to motor home over caravanning and camping is partially motivated by the desire for a little bit more security. This is especially important if you're going to go free camping. The Habitat has a few extra features to address that reasonable concern. These are features that you hope you'll never have to use, but you'll sleep better knowing you've got them on board. There is 270 degree exterior lighting on the side and rear of the Habitat One. This is activated by an internal switch so that you can check out any bumps in the night or animals that may come visiting safely from inside your RV. A quick evacuation switch located above the door inside your motorhome allows you to retract electric stabilizers, awning, and the step at the flick of a single switch so that you can drive off quickly without exiting your motorhome if required. The Habitat also has the step through to the cabin, a Dometic security door, lockable water and generator fillers, a UHF radio, and the driving digital video recorder. How's that for some extra peace of mind? Sunliner's innovative electric drop-down bed is integral to this very functional layout. The electric drop-down bed creates a space that efficiently serves two distinct purposes all at the flick of a switch. This bed includes an inner sprung mattress and is almost a king size. Located above the bed is a roof hatch with a fan for added comfort while sleeping. When morning comes around, you simply lift the bed into the up position, creating an open and comfortable living space. The lounges in the Habitat have been designed to serve a dual purpose. They are 195 centimetres long and 75 centimetres wide, making them very comfortable to sit on or take a nap on. But they can also double as a single bed by just removing these back cushions. Upholstered in ultra leather, they're easy to wipe down and will help in keeping dust out of the motorhome. For additional storage, this peak space is ideal for keeping things in the motorhome within easy reach. Climate control plays an important part in creating a comfortable space. And the Habitat climate control features include double glazed windows with inbuilt insect and privacy screens. If you prefer to have doors and windows firmly locked at night, fresh airflow can be a problem, which is why the Habitat has two roof hatches with fans. A reverse cycle air conditioner and a diesel heater are also standard inclusions in the Habitat One. All teamed with the Sunliner trademarked insulated thermotuff walls. These ensure that you can manage the climate of your RV no matter where you travel. The cabinetry throughout the Habitat is low sheen and satin finish. This assists in keeping the dust from being visible. It looks great and it's very practical. The kitchen appliances include a two door, 190 litre, two way fridge freezer, three burner gas stove top with oven and grill, microwave, 
range hood, brushed aluminium splashback, and a water purifier with a separate tap. And look at this. Even the small details have been thought through, like ensuring that there is a cupboard wide enough to fit things like a large 10 litre water canister. The Habitat has all the entertainment features that you would expect from a top of the line motorhome, including a 24 inch LCD TV, TV antenna, and a fusion stereo with Bluetooth and both internal and external speakers. Moving through to the bathroom, you have a generous size space that includes a cassette toilet, full separate shower, and a very stylish vanity. There's also a 20 litre gas electric hot water service. But that's not all. In this corner is another storage area. And behind these mirrors are very deep shelves and a hidden wardrobe with hanging space. There are two main control areas. Here are the 12 volt and 240 volt switches. Also got water gauges, solar control panel, and the blower switch for the rear boot locker. These have been placed in a cupboard so that there aren't any lights that may disturb you while sleeping. Above the entry door is the evacuation switch, the 270 security lighting switch, the Bluetooth audio system, and the electric drop-down bed controller. All are very easy to use. As you've seen, the Sunliner Habitat is a very special motorhome series, one that has been designed specifically for the serious RV traveller who wants to go further and stay longer. If you plan on doing long-range, multi-terrain touring, and you want a motorhome that's easy to use, the Sunliner Habitat 1 is the vehicle that I would encourage you to consider. Come and see the Habitat series for yourself by contacting one of our Sunliner dealers. For more details, visit our Sunliner website.